The purpose of this video clip is to demonstrate the use of the Visionscape soft system emulation for offline programming, for demonstration, or for a system evaluation. The first step in creating a soft system is to bring up the Visionscape backplane. Do this by selecting Visionscape menu in the Windows program menu and bringing up starting the backplane program. This will cause an icon to appear in the system tray. Right click on that icon to see the backplane and you'll see a backplane with no boards and no systems in it. To add a system, hit the add button and give the soft system a name. Important to note at this point that this name must not have any spaces in it. We'll call it soft system number one. Backplane shuts down, but now when we start Visionscape front runner, first we see the splash screen. Notice that the backplane has started down here in the system, and the soft system is now present in the front runner list of available systems. We'll select that system and start a new job for it by hitting the Create New Program button. Here we see the new program, simply an inspection and a snapshot. Bring up the Editor button and will allow us to go to the Acquire step and give it a list of files to use um, for the emulation. Click on the file list, click Add, navigate to a suitable selection of TIFF files. In this case, we under the wrench check um, folder in the sample jobs of the tutorials and samples in the vscape menu, there's a convenient list of Im images. We'll bring those in. And now if I ask the system, the software system to take a picture, um, it will display those images. Those images should be TIFF files. They should be black and white, uh, meaning grayscale images, and they should be in a size, a uh, number of pixels, and rows and columns, that corresponds to whichever camera is selected in the top step of the job tree. In this case, the images are 640 by 480. OK, let's create a simple little job here. Um, what I'm going to do is add a blob step. And the objective is to determine whether that wrench is imaged in the correct polarity and whether it's the right way round. If the wrench is positioned correctly in the right form, there should be a blob of white pixels um, surrounded by dark pixels. To check for that, we will go to the blob tools parameters, tell it we're looking for a light parts, and tell it we do not want to see blobs that touch the ROI and we want to see a blob of, let's say, at least 500 pixels. Let's see if that does a good job of discriminating here. So yes, that part passes, that part fails. There is no white blob that's not touching the edge of the ROI. That part passes, that part passes, and that one too. But that one fails because the wrench is the wrong way around. Let's set up one more um, little feature here. Go to the snapshot step, sorry, go to the inspection step and set this job to indicate whether it passed or failed on a virtual point. Virtual points are available um, in the soft systems and if we want to use that we should check to see that the system is using I.O. during tryout. The use I.O. during tryout is selected. So now if I bring up the I.O. display position it so I can see it whilst the job is running. I should see that I.O. point change according to whether the particular part passed or failed. I'm going to add one more step to this list here. It's very good practice in using the soft systems to add um, a wait step so that the job does not take over all the system resources if you run it in untriggered mode. So we'll put a 500 millisecond wait in there. And now when we run the job round and round, we should see the I.O. point going on and off. 
according to whether the application, whether the part passed or not. I'll stop this job, we'll save it, we'll call it, um, let's call it test, and now we can go into run mode, and we have now an emulation of a system running on a whatever target would be, a board, an internal system for a gig e camera, or a external VisionScape smart camera. So there we have an emulation of the um, VisionScape system running purely in software. If you have a dongle, uh, this job will run without any uh, NAG screen and you'll be able to save the job. And under VisionScape 4.0, you'll be a limit of some hundreds of pixels you can take before you have to hit a reset button. This is a powerful tool for offline programming, um, for evaluation and understanding um, and creating applications, and for demonstrating VisionScape to interested parties. All that remains now is to stop the job running, to shut down the I.O. display, and to turn off um, VisionScape Front Runner. And that concludes this little um, demonstration of the use of the VisionScape soft system.